Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey, welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark. I'm with Steve. We're talking Final Cut Pro 10. And we're Photoshop. getting into Photoshop. Yeah, Final Cut and Photoshop. Final Cut Pro 10 and Photoshop. Right. Now, we talked about that a little we bit did. before. We did. Last time we talked about bringing in raw photos and manipulating them in Photoshop. And, yeah. But we're going to deal with layered and graphics. Updating them stuff. Oh, so Photoshop that has multiple layers to them. Correct. Okay, now, let, let's say your client gives you a graphic logo that has like multiple layers. And yes. you want to use it in your project, but like... I don't really like the color of that particular text or background. I want to go to change it in Photoshop, and I want those changes to appear or update to, in, Final to update in Final Cut Pro. Now, this okay. is you now we're talking about myth busting, and this is a good myth buster because people are like, "Oh, you can't do." There's no dynamic linking, and by the way, that's Adobe's term for round tripping in the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. What I mean right. by that is, you make a change in, in Premiere, go in to Photoshop, come back, and it and updates. It updates. It's dynamic linking like that. Final Cut does it too, and I'm mm -hmm. going to show you how to do that in, okay. uh, in in this project. So, you'll notice first of all that I have this project here, this uh, awesome Delfina restaurant in San Francisco. Locanda. Uh, look, oh, Locanda. <laughs> <laughs> Around the corner from uh, Delfina. Yes, yeah, so Delfina. really yeah. awesome restaurant if you're in the Bay Area or in San Francisco. So, um, I have this layered Photoshop graphic here, and how do I know that? Um, there is there's, there's a little layered that, icon there. That little badge a little tells badge. you it's a layered. Right, file. it is. And I want to do is I'm going to just edit in into the end of this. So I'm going to just uh, I'm going to mark in uh, an endpoint. I'm going to do a three point edit of that graphic. Okay. So so it's already selected, and I got in and out point. So I'm just going to press Q. Okay. And so down here I've got this edited. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see there's a layered graphic. And just to see it, you it is layered. I'm going to open it up, and you can see there's all the so layers. So you double there. clicked on it to open it up. Correct. And it reveals all the layers. All the, the layers separate, Those are the separate Photoshop layers. Correct. And the names, I can see at the very left-hand corner are the names of each of the layers. Yes. And those are the Photoshop Photoshop, file somebody names. who created this graphic went in and took the time to la name those layers, name which those is always a Photoshop. good idea. Yeah, and then you get to see those names right in Final Cut. Exactly. Okay. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit, uh, I'm going to go ahead, just so we could see it, I'm going to go ahead and make down to no icon okay. at all, because I know what these are essentially. So now we can see all the layers together. So you can together. see all the layers together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go back out. I just wanted you to see the layers because okay. it's important because I want to be able to change, for example, this this red back layer here. If I press V, I can disable. I just maybe want to change that. Maybe oh, so purple. V, you disable it. Yeah. Or maybe there's um, there's something the artichokes. I want to change. Mm -hmm. I want to change the color of those. Well, can't do that directly in in Final Cut. It's not an image editing app. So we want to do it inside of. Um, Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is park my playhead and hit Shift F to reveal the fact that this is the back the graphic reveal file. Reveal that clip want. back in the event. Right. Now browser. here's the thing. Okay. I'm going to right click and choose Reveal in Finder. Okay. And it's going to show me where that actual graphic lives. In this case, it lives inside my event library. Mm -hmm. And I want to open this in Photoshop. So I'm going to right click yeah, and open, open with, with. And it should say, say top, yikes. top one, Photoshop Creative Cloud. <laughs> Creative Cloud. So now I'm in Photoshop. And you can see there's all layers. You can see the layers show up over here. And you can yep. see them in the layers pile, right? So let's work with uh, this back here, this one. All right. And here's the key. And I mentioned this. Um, let's say, and this one already has a, 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 a smart collection. I'm going to go ahead and rasterize really quickly because okay. it was in a state that I didn't want it to be okay. in. Okay, I want to be able to change the color of that red or maybe change the artichoke color, but I want to do it non-destructively. I want to essentially affect this graphic yes. using what's called a, a smart... A smart object. Smart object, ah, exactly. Because okay. what a smart object does essentially takes that layer and puts it in a little container and I can okay. play with it. So I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to right click and that's uh, right click and choose. Maybe zoom out here. Right click. I think you need to click on the There it is. There it is. Right. Yeah. There you go. So I want to turn this into convert to smart, smart object. object. Okay. Boom. So it's a smart object. And one way you can tell that is this little, little icon. icon. Little yeah. icon. And to edit that, you double click and, and it open up opens on that up. Icon. Yeah. Get this large dialog thing and with lots of words. Just for, you ignore know, it. Just, just ignore like, okay. it. Like, okay. There you go. <laughs> so what I want to do is I have this open now. It's its own layer and its own its yes. own little thing now. I'm gonna I want to apply kind of a, a layer style to it. Okay. So let's just do something simple: color overlay. Okay. So we got color overlay, and I'm gonna go ahead and click this and 
Let's maybe make it. I said that the client wanted to see it in a dark bluish color, didn't I? So I click OK. There we go. OK. Click OK. Now here's the thing. You want to save this. You want to make sure you save before you just save, save not it. save as, just save. Right. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to go back to the main Photoshop document because we've got two tabs open. Right. We right. It opened the Smart open. Lodge. It's its own tab, and then yeah. we back here. Look at that. It's updated. Ah. Oh, ah. Okay. One last step. File. Got to save. Because now you have to save this Photoshop yes. document, the now, layered Photoshop that's document. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to tab over to Final Cut. Mm -hmm. Dun, da, da, da. Ooh, look at that. And it updates. Dynamic Fantastic. linking inside Final Cut. <laughs> you couldn't do it. They said you couldn't do it. Sorry. <laughs> and so, by the way, this is sitting on transparency right now. It all looks it, black, but it's just it's sitting it on transparency. Right. But uh, let's, okay. just, let's go ahead and play. The client's like, now that I see it, I don't like it. Okay. Can you go back to white? And can you make the artichokes green? Uh -huh. So we already have the document open, so we just go back to file. Uh, so I'm going to go back into back, in Photoshop. back, in, back to Photoshop, okay. and she doesn't like it. And I'm just going to again turn off color turn overlay, off the overlay. Save. save, come back here, come back to the original layer save. Of Photoshop document, and okay. let's go to the artichoke layer. So we go to artichoke and make, make it a smart object. A smart That's the key part, right? Convert, to, to, smart it, object, convert to smart object, right? Click on the smart object so icon. It's ignore the gobbledygook. Come into here. Let's apply a layer style. Layer style. Let's go to uh, Satan. I mean, Satan. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Satan. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Satin. And oh, look at that! Nice artichokey color. Okay. I know you don't like it. What if <laughs> yeah, it's color artichoke? Cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, like that. Uh, she probably's gonna. But yeah, I just, do a little greener. But that's good. Right. No, I'm, I'm terrible with color. Okay. Okay. There, I like that okay. a little better. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Save. Save. Mean. Ooh, ooh. Go back to that guy. Save, save that guy. Save that guy. Yeah. And then toggle back to Final Cut Pro. Okay. Do, do, do. <gasps> there Ooh. There. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness. How does that nice. work? And if I put this over the top, you can see you were asking about the transparency. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Yeah. I think yeah. that's freaking awesome. That's very cool. That's very cool. So, so you're not locked in. You put something in Final Cut Pro 10 when you're editing. You can always open that layered Photoshop file in Photoshop. Make sure you're working with smart objects. You can update, and it updates right in Final Cut Pro. There you go. Very nice. Yeah. Cool. All right. Where could somebody go if they wanted to learn more amazing tricks about Final Cut Pro? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> RippleTraining.com. Yeah. Uh, lots of tutorials up there, and a lot of free stuff right. and plugins. Really cool yes. plugins uh, for Final Cut. Anyway, follow us on Twitter or on Facebook. Yep. And uh, thank you, Steve. And thank you once again for watching MacBreak Studio.